my demonstration. Okay, so. Came to me one day when I was teaching this and I couldn't remember which pair was which. And so I had to think. And um, here I use a single sock is a single chromosome. This is the chromosome I inherited from my mother, chromosome number one. And another sock that looks just like it, same exact length because it's chromosome number one. Chromosome number one from the father encodes the same genes that the chromosome number one from the mother encodes. So each, so one of these, one sock is one chromosome. And then if we have a pair of socks, that is a pair of sister chromatids. Okay? We have two pairs of sister chromatids because we have a pair of sister chromatids that came from the father and a pair of sister chromatids that came from the mother. And if I was to stuff this, which is my chromatin, my um, DNA that used to be chromatin, it's actually condensed up in here. And because I don't have my nice histones, I can't easily fit them in there. But that's what's actually in here, right? This is a long DNA molecule. OK. So when you're thinking about this, then we have one pair of uh, socks is a pair of sister chromatids, and two pairs of socks are two pairs of sister chromatids. And one pair, that is a pair of homologous chromosomes. I try not to refer to these as a pair of homologous chromosomes. I just try to refer to them as homologous. But you will see it in your text and places where it will say pair. OK, so hopefully that will help you remember. This isn't a demonstration about process. It's a demonstration about helping you remember what the structures are. <coughs>